Hi Pixies, my name is Gigi. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing a hairstyles video, even though I literally just wear my hair like this, like the majority of the days, but <laughs> you guys requested this video, so if you request, you shall receive. So no promises this will be the best, but I'm gonna try. These styles I feel like are super flattering on curly hair especially. I have type two to three a curls um, I have like kind of all the twos in my hair and then I have some three A's as well like for example like these are some two waves um but then now I also have my ringlets and these are like type 3a ringlets I think these would be really cute on most curly and wavy hair patterns and as well as like straight hair as well. And they're super easy because I, like I said, don't really know how to do that many hairstyles. So super easy, super cute. Also before I get started, I just want to remind you, Black Lives Matter and I definitely encourage you to go look in my description down there. You can find a link to a, like a grand Google Drive I made of a bunch of other links to other Google Drives as well as just so many ways to educate yourself as well as petitions, places to donate, things you can do, rights you should know, stuff like that. So definitely go check that out when you're done with this video. There's also a link to a video I made down there that you can watch, which is a stream to donate for free to this organization. So yeah, definitely go check that out. And remember, Black Lives Matter is not a trend. Definitely keep talking about it, keep having conversations, keep calling people out, keep up the good fight. Without further ado, let's just uh, jump into this video. The first style I do is one that I've been doing for years and it's just kind of like my go-to when I want to switch it up. What I do is I part my hair like down the center roughly. It's okay if it's messy. I'm gonna lift like right from the, right up here of my hair. And I'm also gonna grab a little bit of hair on the side. So I like to like lift it up kind of, and then I just secure it. And then you can fluff it out. And yeah, I really like that how much volume that adds on the side as well. I think it's really cute. And I think that this hairstyle is just so perfect. Like I used to wear this for shows a lot because it keeps the hair out of your face. It's so fast and easy to do. And like, look how cute this is. The cute just look to like switch things up. Like I love how much volume it adds on the sides. You could totally just wear this to like events and have it be like a little bit more of a fancy thing. You could also replace these with like butterfly clips or other like fun little clips to spunk up the look even more. But for me, I just like these simple little bobby pins. Now, a hair accessory that I've recently gotten a hold of and has changed my life is hair scarves. So I have these two. I just got them on Depop. Like on my last day of hair. This is third day hair, so like probably tomorrow, like this is what I would do. I like to literally just put it in a triangle and just do the classic tie behind the head. And I like to like take some hairs out. and then just like fluff the hair out in the back. And boom, look how freaking cute that is. So simple and easy. Another nice way to have your hair out of your face. You could put these back and not have them out at all, but I just think this is just so cute. So the next thing I like to do is I just take a normal hair tie. This is another go-to look of mine and I flip my hair like completely upside down and I get my hair all on the top of my head. So this is also the way I sleep with my hair. Like my hair is thick enough that I don't need to tie it around. It's literally, I just like slide the thing on, but I don't wrap it around. But I am going to use this again. I just like fold it down like once. And then I'm just gonna use this from the back. So I just wrap it like once and then I will just tie it right here. Okay, wait, not like that. And then you can just tuck these in. And then I like to, in the back, just kind of like tuck that behind. Like so. So that it kind of like is wrapped on the hot sides of my head. And I take some hairs down right here. Then, in the front, I kind of like to create like a little bit of a fringe. My ponytail hair, but it will look kind of like bangs. 
Then I just like adjust this hair. Oops. And then that's it for this one. And I think this one's really cute. Like this is just like a really cute way to get your hair out of your face. I think it's more unique than just a ponytail. And I just, I think it's really cute. Another thing I like to do is kind of part my hair in the center. I like like this height of a ponytail. So then I'll just gather the whole thing. Again, I don't like go like this with my hair ties. I just let it sit there. And then I actually like to like stretch it out. I'll show you in the back. So they stretch it out so that it kind of just takes up the whole back side of my head. Okay, so then I just like tape take some pieces out right here. Some people don't like that, but I'm a fan. And then that's pretty much it. It's kind of like a very laid back, almost like a little bit messy look, but it's super like pretty and I don't know, like kind of princess vibes. And I think it's really pretty. Very simple as well. Oh, I just pinned like a little bit excess hair up right there. When that ponytail is not big enough for me, this is what I do. I take two of these and I'll pull my hair back. I'll try and part it in the middle. And this time I'm not gonna pull out long strands. And in the back, I'm basically gonna make two ponytails. But they're gonna be like right next to each other. Looks like one ponytail. This one I will do two, four, and then I'll spread it out. Okay, so from the front, it kind of looks like one ponytail. It also could, you like it is like just two ponytails basically, but I think it's really pretty um, and just kind of like a more, like a fun little look. Um, and I kind of like the sleek look with this one, so I'm just gonna pin back my hair in the front. And just pick, take out a little bit right there. And then I like to fluff these out. I really like this one. I think it's super cute. The cute little thing to do is like little space buns high on my head. And then I'm very loosely going to make a little bun. Don't worry, we'll fix that. <laughs> So I'm gonna just kind of take this one, and sorry, the sun just kind of went behind a cloud, and pin it down. And one pin will do, because I still like that big look. And the same thing with this one. And you could pin these up more if you want to, but I kind of just like them like that. You can just kind of live out a little bit of a Princess Leia fantasy for a second there. I don't know, I think these are really cute. Last one, I'm just flipping my hair over and this time I'm just gonna make a quick little bun and I'll just take like a couple hairs down. I think this one's super cute when you're like on the go or you just need like a little, little something more done to your hair. You could also totally add one of these. And just kind of like play with it to make it what I want it to be. And then, boom. Okay, I just added another hair tie just to like really secure it. It's so cute. And that is all the hairstyles. So I hope you pixies love this video. I hope it was helpful. I know it was kind of short, but hope it, hope it did the job. If you try out any of these hairstyles and you post it on Instagram, make sure you tag me. My Instagram is gg.mw. I would love to see them. And also just, I love seeing all your curly hair. So don't totally tag me in your pictures. I love you pixies so much and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.